Hey kids! So today I'm going to show you eight exercises that you can do in eight minutes at home without any or with very little equipment. This video is sponsored by Factor Meals because exercising and eating right go hand in hand. Most people overestimate how many calories they burn when they exercise. Unfortunately, they also underestimate how many calories they take in during the day. A great way to control your calorie intake is with a meal plan from Factor Meals. Factor is a weekly subscription meal delivery service. They offer keto-friendly, calorie-smart, protein plus, and plant-based options. Their personalized plans will help you reach your nutrition goals like they've helped me. Factor Meals arrive on your doorstep. They're fresh, never frozen. You just take them out of the box, poke some holes in the cover, and put them in the microwave for two minutes. Even though they're considered microwave meals, they taste amazing. See the link in the description to get 50% off your first Factor box and free shots for life. That means you can choose two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. Okay, so before we get started, I do have a dad joke for you, of course. Why did the couple stop going to the gym? It wasn't working out. Ah, so anyway, let's get started. I like to start with something like jumping jacks to get your body warmed up before you get into the other exercises. Do these for about 30 seconds to get warmed up. An option I like better is jump rope. You can just pick up a piece of rope from a hardware store and see that I just taped the end with electrical tape. So, and then you want it to be about this length from my height. Uh, I have it come up to just short of my armpits like that. And then you do that for about 30 seconds instead of the jumping jacks. If you can't do it for 30 seconds straight without making a mistake, that's okay. Just start again. Next, we're going to do leg lift toe touches. These are surprisingly difficult. You do them for about 30 seconds, you'll definitely feel it in your core. And when you build up your stomach muscles, it'll help you feel full faster. And when you try to eat more than you should, your stomach muscles will actually fight that. Now we want to do seated leg extensions for 30 seconds. Again, we're trying to build up those stomach muscles to help you feel full. We're doing all these exercises for 30 seconds. Obviously, as you get stronger, you'll be able to increase the length. You can do them for 60 seconds. I'm just trying to get you started and then you can build from there. Next, we're going to do bicycle extensions for 30 seconds. Again, building that core. We're trying to get those stomach muscles engaged. Okay, moving away from the stomach muscles, we're going to do push-ups. Oops, looks like Lola has other plans. Let's use this as an opportunity to take a quick break. Always stay hydrated. You wanna drink plenty of water. I don't think you need energy drinks or anything like that. Just make sure you drink plenty of water. It feels good to get some exercise, doesn't it? Okay, now we're gonna get into push-ups. There's two different kinds of push-ups. One that will really build your triceps like these, these muscles here. If you keep your arms in, it won't necessarily build up your whole chest, the outer part of your chest. 
See this? So if I put my arms in like that and I go up, I'm really working on my triceps rather than my whole chest. So this is a good exercise, but I like to put my arms out and then have my elbows go out because it builds your whole chest. It'll build the outer part of your chest. And if you're doing bench press, if you move into bench presses, you'll want to have your arms out because you'll do, be able to do a lot more weight because you're using your chest as well as your arms. Now we're gonna move into shoulder lifts. I like to come forward and sideways, and this is gonna help build your shoulders. You really wanna do this with some weights if possible, but if you're just beginning, this is a good way to start. And if you do this for 30 seconds and then move into 60 seconds and do it for two minutes, it's really gonna build um, up your shoulders for you and give you some shape there um, and then like i'm showing here i move into some weights and then you can go with heavier weights i like lighter weights and lots of reps now we're going to move back into some stomach core muscles by doing a plank and do this for 30 seconds again you can move in, into 60 seconds we're just trying to get you some beginner exercises so that it's achievable. Eight exercises in eight minutes will get you started and then you can build from there. Okay, we're gonna end with squats for 30 seconds. I like to use a dowel to keep my posture straight like that. And you know, if you've ever done squats with weights, you're gonna have a bar across there. I just like this, it just helps me to maintain my balance and I don't know what it is about having that stick there, but you know, just an inexpensive dowel. You can obviously do it without the dowel, but it's worked for me. You wanna have your legs apart a little bit, not close. And then I like to point my toes out a little bit as well. And then just go down and back up, go down and back up. I love this exercise because then when you walk just throughout the day, you can feel the muscles in your legs and that's a good thing. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you to just walk through some really basic exercises that you can do at home. You know, our bodies are truly amazing and it's important to take care of them by exercising and eating right. Thanks Factor for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching and God bless you.